Hello YouTube, the Knife Nut back again. Tonight, we get to do an overview of the Brian Nadeau Sharp by Design Full Size Custom Tempest. Um, I've carried this knife around the house for a couple days and I think I've gotten to know it pretty well where I can do an overview on it. Um, real quick, let's just do some size comparisons against the Para 3 Lightweight and the uh, Para 2 Tanto. Um, you can see that it's a little bit closer in size to the Tanto, but it's still it's quite a bit bigger than the Para 3. And we got the Benchmade Griptilian Mini and the full size bench made Griptilian both Tanto. Again, quite a bit bigger than the Mini, more closer to the full size Griptilian. Um, we can do a real quick weight check on it. Or not. There it is. We can do a real quick weight check on it. And it is 5.2 ounces. So, but look at the materials and the size and what you're getting. So, I think right there, I haven't had any problems carrying it. I haven't had any issues carrying this around the house so what you're getting here is a four inch vinland damage steel blade at 156 thousandths thick overall length of 8.875 inches from tip to the back of the handle hardened washers on the frame with a Nitro V Sharp by Design lock insert. So basically, that's that. It's really hard to see. Let me get my flashlight real quick. That's that little nub that you see right there. That little tiny nub that you see right. There that little tiny nub that's buying the dough sharp by designs uh detent right there <clears throat> it has skiff bearings riding on skiff bearings so it is super super smooth i'm still learning how to do the front flipper thing um yeah super super smooth really control Beautiful action on this thing. Absolutely beautiful action. Um, so, there's all the stats on the knife. What I really wanted to focus on, what I think is probably the most important when it comes to a custom piece like this, is the details. It is all about the details and how hard he worked to get it as beautiful and as perfect as this is. So what I what I liked about it, what I liked most about it was the details of the knife. So if you look, you can see even on the detent, you can see that ramp going up into the detent to be able to do that as smooth as he did it, as beautiful as he did it. All the milling, the absolute precision perfect milling that he did on this knife. Even to the pocket clip. That is just absolutely beautiful. Where he has the pocket clip screwed on the inside so you don't have any screws out here distracting from the beauty of the knife. I mean... Just look at the millwork on it. 
the details that he put into this thing, I can see why it is what it is. This is a little bit pricier of a knife, and I can see why he charges what he charges. And I think it's absolutely 100% justified and worth every penny of what he charges for this knife. Trust and believe, if I had the extra funds, I'd keep this knife. <laughs> I'd keep it in a heartbeat. But, oh yeah. This thing is absolutely 100% perfect completely flawless from what i can tell what i've seen it's flawless there's not a scratch on it there's not an issue with ergos the ergos are just perfect you can choke up on it because it has this little finger trial right there you can choke up on it and use it like that or you can just grip it like this, a regular grip, and use it like this. The pocket clip has zero hot spots on it, absolutely none. It does not dig into your hand at all. This knife is just from the damn steel blade, where it's actually meant to be used as a user. From what I understand, damn steel is supposed to be a little bit harder and has better ed edge retention. So this knife is actually made and built to be a user. This thing is absolutely perfect and flawless from every aspect that I can see. Look at the lockup on it. It has absolutely perfect lockups where, bam, you barely have to push it over. And it starts falling. This thing is absolutely 100% good to go. I am in awe of how hard Brian Adele worked. And how perfect he got this knife. I know it sounds like, oh, I'm a gush fest. Oh, he's in love with the knife. I don't think I've ever held, and the closest thing I have hold I have in my collection that even compares to this knife is a Sharp by, De by Design, Brian Ado Knife Nuts Podcast Edition, Evo Typhoon. And the ergos on this thing, as good as this knife is, the Evo Typhoon, this is 100 times better. 100%. 100 times better. Don't get me wrong. There's a special place in my heart for this knife. I had it in my pocket when I signed my mortgage. When I bought my house. So this knife will be in my collection until I die and pass on to my kids. I mean, don't get me wrong. The Evo Typhoon is probably one of the best knives that I own 100%. But even with that being said, it doesn't even compare in contrast to how well built and how well made this full size Tempest is. I, I really can't describe and put it into words of how much I enjoyed carrying this around the house, having it in my possession for as little time as I did because this thing is perfect <laughs> in every aspect from slicing because it is super thin, super, super thin behind the edge. I mean, I don't know how well I can be able to show that to you, but this thing is super thin behind the edge. To the tip, oh man, it is a slicer, it's a dicer. This thing is definitely meant to be used and you don't have to worry about whether it's going to work or not because it's going to work every single time for as long as you own it. I am beyond impressed 
at the quality and the details that were put into this knife. Um, this is my first overview slash review overview. So I'm going to get better at this as I go. But if there's any questions, if there's anything that you want to know about the knife, anything that you're curious about, comment down below and I'll get you the answer as soon as I can. Um, this knife is going to go back to Brian the Doe and he's going to take it to Blade Show this year. So whoever scores this knife at Blade Show, you are in for a treat. You are in for probably one of the best knives that you'll ever have in your collection. No doubt, hands down. Whoever scores this knife and takes it home from Blade Show, <laughs> I'm jealous and, and you're gonna have one of the best knives in your pocket slash in your collection that you can look for. So yeah, again, I appreciate y'all checking out the video. Like, click like, subscribe. Let me know down below what uh, content that you guys are interested in, what you're looking for. If you have any questions about this knife or comment down below and let me know and I'll get you the answer. I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Thanks. I'll see you later.